What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel with a brand new video. I just got home from work. We got a package that needs to get opened. Okay, I, I can't even lie to you guys. I may have already opened it, but I didn't open all of it. I didn't open the, the main part of the package. I just opened it to get out some other stuff that doesn't really concern any of you guys, so you, you won't care about the other stuff. But the main part needs to be open still. So we're gonna set you up here on the tailgate. We're gonna open it up and really, we should be able to just jump right into putting this on the truck. We got plenty of time. It shouldn't take that long. So let's see what we got. This right here is a thermal bypass valve kit from the world leader in performance cooling products, Mishimoto. All right, so in the box, we have instructions. Okay, that's good. It's a very simple, straightforward install. Now here is the product. So this is the Mishimoto Thermal Bypass Valve. Your transmission cooler lines are gonna just go right into this puppy and straight out of it, and your fluid will pass right through it, run up to your tranny cooler, and all is good. I'm gonna go ahead and just read you some stuff straight off of Mishimoto's site on this product. Now we already all know a little bit about the 68 RFE, and quite honestly, it's not that bad of a transmission guys it is actually a pretty stellar transmission and the guys who complain about it are the ones who don't maintain their stuff or they just beat the snot out of it and then have nothing good to say when stuff goes wrong and breaks but the 68 is really not that bad of a transmission however whether it's a decent transmission or not it still needs to be able to dissipate heat and be able to cool itself and the transmission cooler is good for that. It is equipped on the truck, but the problem is this thermal bypass valve, which actually comes on the 68 and the ASIN transmissions. And what it does is control the fluid flow up to your cooler, the purpose of it being to prevent your fluid from flowing to the cooler until it reaches its operating temperature, which in colder environments like me up here in the wintertime, is pretty important because you don't want to have your transmission being overcooled. It's bad to run your transmission too warm and it's bad to run it too cold. Now many of us already know that inside the stock bypass valve there's a little thermostat and it will fail. And when this thing fails, it prevents your fluid from reaching the trans cooler at all, therefore just cycling it right back through the transmission and it'll eventually overheat the transmission, which is not good. The problem with the stock bypass valve is that it's not serviceable. When it fails, it fails and then you have to replace it. But why would you want to replace it with another stock unit if you can't service it and you know it's just going to end up failing again? causing your 68 to overheat and start causing damage to your clutches and all that. That's where Mishimoto comes into play and has, in my opinion, the best thermal bypass valve that you can get and put on your truck over all the other competitors. All the other competitors have a thermal bypass valve that is just wide open and allow your fluid to just run up to the cooler, constantly allowing your transmission to run on the colder side. Now that's good for a lot of guys who are maybe down south, but even you guys down south have winters and can see some colder temperatures and I would think still want your transmission to get up closer to operating temperature so that you don't have to worry about babying the truck before you can actually get into it and everything. You don't have to drive for miles and miles for the transmission to start warming up enough to where you feel comfortable getting into the skinny pedal. Mishimoto basically took that stock design and still created a bypass valve where they have a thermostat that can be run in here for colder climates or winter months if you're down south and you want to still run a thermostat to allow your transmission to get up to temp. They give you that option by still allowing a thermostat to be run and it's serviceable so if something goes wrong with the thermostat you can get to it, pull it out and replace it and then during the hotter months you can remove it and just run the bypass to allow maximum cooling of your 68. So the thermostat sits right here in this line that comes from the transmission and goes up to the cooler and then it goes up to the cooler, does its thing and it returns back through here to the transmission and what happens is when your fluid is cold 
this thing is compressed upward by a spring to block this off, not allowing it to go to the cooler and it basically kicks the fluid down and it comes straight back to your transmission to help it heat up and get to those operating temperatures. Now as your fluid starts to warm up, there's a little wax inside this thermostat that will start to expand and release this pin and push the thermostat down, allowing your fluid to flow up to the cooler and then cycle back to the transmission. Another issue that Mishimoto found with the stock bypass valve is that it is restrictive and it actually bottlenecks down and closes itself off restricting the flow up to the cooler so you're not getting as good a flow up to the cooler as you could be which is another issue that they resolved with their kit here and the thermostat that Mishimoto put into this unit will open 10 degrees earlier than the stock unit so it still allows that fluid to get up there to the cooler but also helps your transmission get up to those operating temps so that's just a little bit of information about this thermal bypass valve kit we're gonna get rid of the thermostat here for now. We don't need it as of right yet. So we'll keep it in this box, tuck it away someplace safe for the winter months, and then we will go ahead and throw it in when we start to get those colder, colder days. For now, we're just gonna run the bypass. We gotta drop the spring in there, I believe, then this goes in, and then we have these two little parts here that are going to sit down over the top and it all gets compressed down in and you just screw this back on and torque it to 10 foot pounds with an inch and 16th. Just like that, we've got a thermal bypass ready to go on the truck. I am gonna dig out some tools right now and we're gonna get underneath the truck with a catch pan because we are gonna lose a little bit of fluid when we pop those lines off the stock uh, thermal bypass. Gonna get under the truck with tools and a catch pan, see if we can't get the old one pulled out of there and pop this sucker in in its place. Just in case you don't pay attention when you pull a factory unit out, they do have it marked on the backside. So transmission in, out to the cooler, cooler in, out to the transmission. And it will go in the truck, something like this. For starters, I've got a crescent wrench here that I'm gonna just open up to get a grip on this old bypass valve to keep it from wanting to spin. And then a 13 16 wrench should break these lines loose. You wanna get these ones loosened up and then you can peel these tabs back and there should be some little clips in there that you wanna go ahead and remove. They're also held by a bolt up here on this bracket. You can pop that bolt loose and free this bracket up just so you got a little bit more wiggle room to slide these because these are flexible lines. You'll be able to slide it back a little bit with this bracket undone to pull these lines out because these are seated in a little bit. If you mess up one of these little clips that holds your lines into it, don't worry because there are fresh new clips in the Mishimoto bypass valve. Holy shit, that fucker was tight. Our nice new Mishimoto bypass valve is getting so nice and oily right now. All right, we gotta just tighten our lines down, wipe this sucker off, and we should be in good shape. If I thought I had enough transmission fluid here to make it to the parts store before work in the morning, I would let this sucker drain more because the torque converter obviously holds quite a bit of fluid and we'd probably be able to drain out a good bit of that to get it replaced and get some fresh fluid flow into the converter but maybe we'll uh, we'll separate this again coming up here in the near future. The pan will be coming off the transmission again in the near future anyways because we do have some new parts to be installed. I've been holding out on you guys. So I just got to put our little spring clips back into place and uh, we should be in good shape. So here's the stock unit right here, and I'm gonna show you why we wanted to pull this one off and put on that nice Mishimoto bypass valve. So if you look here, this is where the trans line goes in, and you can see the thermostat down inside there. That's the junk that will get all clogged up or frozen up and then make your fluid bypass this line here to the cooler and then cycle right back to the transmission and just make your transmission overheat and run hot therefore degrading your clutch packs a hell of a lot faster than they should. If you look in here, you can see how that thing bottlenecks down. It's not a wide open 
straight pass through design, it actually bottlenecks down and look how small that hole is. So it doesn't even allow for good flow to your transmission cooler. So these units gotta get pulled off your 68 or your ASIN. It doesn't matter which transmission you have. Get rid of this thing, do yourself a favor, get the Mishimoto one. It's $50 more than all the other ones that are out there, but the other ones don't offer you the option to run a thermostat still if you're in colder climates or you still want to allow your transmission to get up to operating temps a little bit quicker during your winter months, whether you're south or north. The Mishimoto unit gives you the option to run your truck the way you want to and gives you that peace of mind knowing that you're not gonna be overcooled and you're not going to be overheating. If you ask me, the Mishimoto unit is the best design out there, hands down, which is exactly why I decided to pick that one up to install onto my truck. But either way, you guys should be putting one of these things onto your truck to ensure that your truck is getting the proper transmission cooling and it's not getting frozen up and overheating your transmission causing you failure sooner and making you have to shell out even more money to rebuild your 68 or your ASIN. I'm going to go ahead and toss this thing in my aluminum bucket for the scrapyard, then head inside, wash up, and get myself some dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learning a little bit about the thermal bypass valve for a third gen or fourth gen with a 68 RFE or even your ASIN transmission. This will work on both of them and it is highly recommended modification to do to get rid of this OEM junk. And a little perk, if you have a 68 RFE, you can let a little bit of fluid drain out of those lines so that you can drain the torque converter down a little bit and then uh, refill it with some fresh fluid because anytime you can get fresh fluid into your transmission, well, that's a good thing. You want that. The newer and cleaner the fluid on these transmissions, the better off you're going to be, the longer, happier life that thing's going to live. And also, we will be getting into a few other modifications for the 68 RFE here in the very near future. The PPE Transpan will be coming back off the truck here soon because we do have some more stuff to install. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Let you guys leave some guesses down below in the comment section because I always love reading what you guys think we are going to be doing to the truck next so leave those guesses down below but for now i'm going to sign out don't forget to sub with those notifications on so you guys don't miss any of the new content coming your way we got plenty of other ideas with this truck and other content that's going to be rolling out with the fourth gen so don't miss out on any of that be one of the first to know when the videos go live hit that like button on your way out guys it's greatly appreciated really helps the channel with growth and getting the videos recommended to new people check out all the links down below in the video description to everyone on board with the channel helping out with this fourth gen build and i will see you guys again soon in the next video peace